Hello, everybody, and welcome back to City of Heroes in the Chronicles of Zap Paladin. And today I'm joined in game with uh, Rasan, who is playing Jayhawk. How are you doing there, Rasan? I'm doing all right, thank you. <laughs> you sound so thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> and also I've got Captain Kulis, who is with uh, Raquel Moore. How are you doing? Hi, everybody. Hey. So, in our last episode, we had finished off the Freak Show War. And, uh, did we... That was what we... I think that was what we ended it. I don't know if we did anything after that or not. I think, uh, yeah, that's where we ended it. Okay. A uh, little bit of stuff we did between episodes. Uh, we had, there was a Rickty invasion while we were setting up here, so we fought off a couple of Rickty. Um, so there was some stuff there. But, what we decided is we're going to go ahead and we're going to do Montague Castanella's uh, level 30, 35 arc. Uh, I think, uh, uh, Raquel, you also have access to him. Jay, you might have access, and we can do that co-complete thing if you both do. Yeah. So, uh, I, you know, uh, Montague, so direct, hello. That's just all he says. <laughs> so, this is the introduction to Cimarora. Have you ever heard of Cimarora, Zap Paladin? Ever since Ouroboros started altering the timeline, I became aware of a gift I had. I can perceive the changes in a timeline, yet I am unaffected by it. This has made me aware of some other alterations throughout time. I need you to meet someone. His name is Imperius. He is not of this time or place. That should be Nor, but... But I feel his need, and the need of his people, transcends both of those. So let's talk to Imperius. To get to Cimarora, we're going to have to er, bypass Ouroboros. I prefer them not to be involved in this particular mission. I procured an aspect of the pillar myself. This crystal has been attuned to take you to Cimarora and nowhere else. I've kept the crystal hidden within the Midnighter Club. So, thankfully, we are fairly close to it. It's just right over here. Midnighter Club makes me think of like some you know, nightclub. <laughs> and have either of you ever gone through and found all the Easter eggs in the Min Ip Midnight Earl Club? Uh, I don't think so. There's like 15. I don't know if I found, I don't know if I found them all of them. I did go through looking for them. Like, I thought one of these books on these tables is one of them. Or is it one of these right here? Well, or this one? Yeah, here we go, these books right here. Oh, I'm not reading all of that. So, you folks, if yeah. you really do want to read it, you can freeze right now. But, anyhow, there's like 15 or so of them spread throughout the entire... even in this part. Yeah. So I think this is new for Zap. Zap has never been to Cimarora, to the best of my knowledge. Because it only opens at level 35. Or no! Now it doesn't. They yeah, recently changed it. Yeah. Yeah, now you can get there. Get there a lot earlier. But being there at low levels is not exactly a smart thing. I mean... <laughs> So over I mean, there... There's 50s in here. <laughs> yep. Over there, we can't get to it, but that is the temple of... Uh, that's where Sister Solaris hangs out. I don't remember what it is. And that's part of the Imperious Task Force, which is one of my favorite task forces. So for those of you that don't know, Simrora is in the past. It is ancient... Uh, set in ancient Roman times. And... Imperius, whom we're going to go speak to, has been displaced by Im uh, Imperius has been displaced by Augustus. I can't remember his name. Maybe he'll mention it. Uh, deposed, I should say, by Augustus. So, well met, traveler. I have met your with your ally, Montague Castanella. He is a strange but determined man. When he first arrived here, I thought he was one of Romulus's men. That's it, Romulus Augustus. Disguised in some eccentric garb, 
It wasn't until I questioned him that I learned he was, in fact, here to help. I believed a little of what he said, even in these amazing times. Before I sent him home, I told him that if he truly wanted to aid my people, he must send champions to aid me. Looking, you, uh, looking on you now, I believe he may have done just that. <laughs> you really have a lot of high expectations, don't you? So. <laughs> and the in thing is, is uh, in kind of a meta thing, is that he is the Roman version of Statesman. So... Um, and then down here, just to get through a, a, a slight sidebar, folks, over here. This is uh, Marcus Valerius. Uh, great guy. He does, like, unlimited content. You can just keep getting more and more content from him. Uh, standing right here at this badge. There's a badge right in front of him if you want it. Uh, and if you do the Dark Astoria arc, you... Learn a very tragic story about Marcus. But anyhow, uh, I do like how cell phones work through time. I can call Montague. <laughs> so, and he says, for now, I have nothing more for you. So, oh, I have to go talk to him. That's kind of annoying. Really? I have to go all the way back to him? No. No, wait. That was it. Really? That was it? No. That doesn't sound right. There was something... I didn't pay attention. Did I pick up a new... No, I didn't pick up a new mission. But I remember an entire thing where... Okay, maybe we're changing gears. I'm well, gonna come over get, here. You Go do ahead. get another contact, don't you? The well... Senator Decimus Aquila? Yeah, I do have him. But I'm gonna come over here. Because I know about Daedalus. And he just has a star. Okay. Maybe he unlocks after I talk to the senator. But this is the Roman version of Positron. Uh, I like how the fact that, you know, he's completely encased in armor. Just like Positron. So, Alright, let's go talk to the senator then. He is right here. So, Senator Decimus Aquila. Aquila? Well, he has Aquila. visions. Aquila. By the look of you, I would say you have traveled a great distance. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Senator Decimus Aquila. Aquila. Ah, forgive a foolish man. I am the former senator of this beautiful peninsula. My days as an elected official came to an end when Romulus and his men traitorously dethroned Imperius and took the title for himself. These days, my aims are small. I have to aid those who have chosen to remain true to Imperius and ensure their continued safety. Alright, let's see what you have for us. The Tale of Cimarora. I am not the one to adequately tell the full tale of Cimarora. It is the citizens of this meager fort who have suffered the trials of heartbreak under the rule of Romulus. Who are best suited to this task? Would you hear these tales? Yes, but that means I just go around talking to people. <laughs> you do me a kindness, stranger. Is that Paladin, is it? A strong and powerful name for any man. If you will permit an old, deposed senator some time, I will send you along your way shortly. These are difficult times, you see. I fear that, if the bloodshed continues, our cause and the powers that strengthen our great heroes will one day be lost. If you have not yet decided to aid us, please speak to Antonia Severa, the wife of a slain soldier. Perhaps she will help you change your mind. Oh, yeah, I see how it is. Guilt me into it. Okay. <laughs> so let's go talk to Antonia. Greetings, stranger. The senator has sent you over to hear my tale, has he not? It is a sad one, I am afraid. I was the wife of Gaius Severus. He was one of Valerius's top men, highly decorated, in fact, during the rule of Imperius. When Romulus sought to take over Cimarora from within, my husband fought alongside Valerius each day. They were so much like brothers. 
Valerius tells me that my husband was slain in Vespilus Pass as he leaped in front of him, blocking a sword meant for his head. My husband died an honorable death, and I miss him. But these are days of blood and battle, and, sadly, many of the widows here have tales like mine. You should speak to Bruticus Aurelius. He is a fine soldier and is fearly dedicated to Imperius. He can tell you more. All right. I'm trying to remember where the arc was where we actually started fight. Uh, did, like, taking things on. There was, like... I'm remembering now. There's like four or five people who we gotta talk to. Yep. Bruticus. I do not recognize the tribe or battalion of your garb, but I sense a fierce thirst for power in you, for good or bad. I do not yet know. You are a soldier of sorts, of that I am sure, so you will understand my tale. I am in complex servitude. I'm sorry, complete servitude to Imperius. Complex would be a complex situation. <laughs> the former ruler of Cimarora. He was ostracized from his kingdom some months back by Romulus, a pathetic and conniving pig of a man. To look at Romulus months ago, you would not believe this act to be something he would be capable of. One day, however, he changed. By the demigods of Hades, his power grew. I am sure of it. He has harnessed something so powerful that it defies logic and understanding. But he is a fool and barely controls it. If he is left to his own foolishness, this power will be his undoing. I welcome that day. The man is dangerous. However, if this power is unleashed, I fear it will be the end of all our strength and of the generations to come. Go now and speak to Atticus the Commoner. The war affects all of us, and he has his own tale to tell. Okay, Atticus the top commoner. Ah, yes, the fisherman. My goodness, what a beard you've got going there, Atticus. I am Atticus, just Atticus, a humble fisherman. I come from no great birth or lineage, but I have lived here in Cimarora for all my life. Until Romulus took over, this was a peninsula of opportunity. I felt that I had a voice and was taken care of by Imperius. But now, all of us who are loyal to Imperius have been cast out of this small fort. Romulus lives a life of an imposter emperor, emperor, reaping the rewards of all the work Imperius has put a lifetime into. He is a bad man. Evil. Something dark lives inside him, I think. I cannot explain it, but he is not the man he used to be, and I fear for us all. If we cannot find the soldiers to fight against him, our cause will be lost. Not only that, the cause of all future generations as well. You should go talk to Julia Priya, one of our town merchants. She can tell you how this war has affected her, too. Ah, yes, Julia... Selling her wares. And all of this, folks, is explanations of the Imperious Task Force and what's going on within it. Hello, traveler. Do you seek to hear my tale as well? Oh, ah, good. The senator has been sending me, sending to me travelers he thinks can best aid us so that I may give them my own story. That I shall do. This beautiful town used to be the jewel of the peninsula. Ships once lined up to dock in our marina and trade among other lands was constant. Each morning the sounds of tradesmen and townsfolk hawking their wares and haggling each other could be heard across the city. We were prosperous and the emperor, who had a mind not only for rule but for economics as well, set forth arrangements, agreements and policy so that even the least of us was taken care of. Those days are long past us now. Almost daily, Romulus' men lay siege to this fort and attack us both subtly and in plain daylight. His men have pillaged the town, kidnapped its women, and frightened away traders from all lands across the sea. We get by, but for how much longer, I do not know. I would take on our cause, perhaps... I'm sorry, if you would take... 
on our cause. Perhaps we could one day move back into the kingdom and take our place at its rightful citizens. As its rightful citizens. Ah. If you have not done so already, you should speak to the old woman on the hill. Hers is a very insightful, if confusing, tale. Alright, I'm pretty certain she is the last. I think so, too. I was really hoping for actually doing something! Alright. The old... And she's the blind one, isn't she? My eyes see not, but understand you well I do, Zap Paladin. A time not now you are from. Now I speak true and hear me. Dark times to come. All that is then will end from the darkness now. Gone. Power. Gone. End of the demigods. Evil the crystals be. Part of the thing that sleeps they are. And wake they will soon. It is the mechanical colossus that to us all brings death. Stop Romulus and beware the dark thing that sleeps. The light will go out if ever it wakes. Only darkness for the time that is now until the time that is then. The end of us all will it be. Yes, that is kind of confusing. But that is all outlining the, uh, the Imperius Task Force. All right, let's go back to the senator. I got reward merits for it. One. So I got one reward merits. We are a small fort now, Zap Paladin. Once we were great. We will be again. Thank you for listening to our tale. You have warmed up. Oh, warmed yeah, the heart. Hey, I'm an old senator who has yet to give you uh, us hope. Minute. I need to take care of other stuff. Okay. So, hey, we've been joined uh, midway by... Uh, by Talon Flash, so yes. All right, uh, and then I have an epilogue from him. So this is where we can go talk to Marcus. You will soon come across Marcus Valerius, that paladin. He was the captain of the guard to Imperius, the former ruler of Samora. Marcus is a steadfast soldier who is fully devoted to Imperius, as of course all of us who remain in the small fort are. He has seen many battles and lost many friends in the war against Romulus Augustus. His manner is brusque, but do not let that fool you. He has shed as many tears as drops of blood on the battlefield, and would have gladly stood in the place of the men who have fallen before him. I feel confident that somehow you will prove to be a great military asset to Marcus. Here, take this letter and give it to Marcus. He will be glad of any help. And though an introduction is unnecessary, I believe that these small acts of formality give him a sense of structure that I think pleases him. These are dark days at Paladin, so any comfort I can provide, I will do so. Alright. Well, you know, after uh, all that exposition, uh, don't have time this week, but maybe in a future week we can do the Imperious Task Force. <laughs> what do you hand me? From Senator Aquila? Ah, I see. Decimus is a trusted advisor and friend to me. Perhaps it is time to acquaint myself with you. And then my only option is leave. <laughs> Let me talk to you. Leave. <laughs> Although I bet if I click on him again... Yep, here we go. So, yeah. Yep. So he's the uh, constant, you know, unlimited content for the zone. Um, and then... Uh... The senator is back on my list, but I don't have to go talk to him. So, all right. Well, uh, I really did think this was what led into that arc because, uh, okay, yep. So yeah, we're done with him. Uh, I honestly remember an arc where you had to. It was, and I thought it was through Bar uh, Montague. I thought so too. Uh, are you still there, Talon? Nope, you wandered off again. Okay. Uh, darn it, and we're already 20 minutes in. Uh, I know if I talk to Imperius, he just does, uh, yeah. He doesn't, uh, do anything except start the task force. But I'm gonna go talk to Daedalus again. 
Maybe he'll talk to me now that, uh... Oh, 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 I went too far. There is the city, by the way, that they kept referring to, but Imperius's guards are taking care of it, and they are level 50, so I'm not going to mess with them. <laughs> Alright, where is Daedalus? He's down by the docks. Uh, nope, just ask about this turret, ask about this content. Well, I don't remember where it came from. Darn it, here I thought we were going to be able to do something. Instead of just wandering around talk to people. Oh. What? Oh, wait, okay. I fear that my problems would be too heavy, heavy of a burden for you to bear at this point. For your return or season, perhaps. So Daedalus doesn't give you anything until you're level 40. Oh. Okay. And maybe that's where I remember it, is from a, another character that was a higher level. Yeah. Okay. Because I'll be honest, I haven't done uh, the this arc, you know, this talk to everybody very often. Um, pretty much, I just use Simarora for the Imperious Task Force. So. Alright, uh, well, I'm just, you know, I'm sorry we didn't... Let, let, let's see if I can pick something up here. Uh, let's go ahead and do something for Marcus while we're here. So. Hail! Wait, oh, that's funny. Wait, am I going to leave? I am at your service. Oh, hey, he, he has a different greeting each time. Okay. It is my blessing to meet you, sir. I am not as gifted with words as a senator, but I need your help, so I will be brief. I need soldiers to keep the seed of all our power from a very dangerous foe. A demigod from Hades who seeks to steal this power from humanity and use it for himself and his ilk. Wow, this is so foreshadowing. These are dark times here in Simarora, and my allies are few. To prove to me that you are a person whom I might trust, I would have you fulfill a task for me. Okay. Excellent, Zap Paladin. Is it? An unfamiliar name, I admit. No matter, I am a soldier, not a poet. Your task is simple. Romulus's men have been using one of the caves here on the peninsula as a meeting ground of sorts. Inside, a man by the name of Numerus Pompilius riles up those traitorous dogs just before a raid at her post. I have information that tells me he is gearing his men up for another one soon. I need you to stop him and his men before they attack us again. We have 45 minutes to complete this mission. If any member of your team should be captured or... Oh, wait, no. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead. We got at least one mission here. So then we get to see the traitorous Cimarrones. Ale, sweat, and the cries of men gearing up for mayhem. This is most definitely the place. Time for a little smackdown. Ancient style. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I got that. Oh, oh, oh! Dear goodness. Oh, I'm set to plus one. Okay. We should be okay, but I just realized I'm set to plus one. These guys can be a little nasty, these prefectors. Or prefectus. Alright. Ready? Yeah. I'm gonna send Sparky over first. Hey, good job, Sparky. When they do that, roar, that's like a um, what do they call it? Power up. Yeah, power up to. Uh, wow, this is like all bosses all the time. Anyhow, it's like an invincibility type thing. It just makes them a little more uh, resistant. Do we want to clear this? This is a dead end over here.
specific one, right? Yep. Numerous Pompilia. Pompilus. Is that an I or an L? Pompilius. I don't see him in there. Yeah, I don't see him either. Okay. Forward. It's a small map. Ah, here we go. Finally. Engineers and surgeons always take them out first. If you can. you into the deep end of the pool, method. Yeah. Yeah, I'd use my melee powers on the Prefectus, but like I said, they have really wicked uh, melee powers. I don't want to be near them. At least wicked for a blaster. Fair enough. I'm gonna snipe the surgeon. Okay. Because otherwise he just stands there healing. Of course, that means now everything sees me. Nope, now they see me. Come on! Hi. The good thing is, I think it's just lethal that they do, so at least you can resist it, but they still hit hard. And they hit hard when, what are they, plus three to you right now? Yeah. Plus three or plus two to you right now. Mm -mm -mm. Looks like just a bunch of minions and lieutenants. Oh! There he is. Today our attack on Sumerara will deal a killing blow to Imperius and his pathetic army. Once we have defeated the majority of his soldiers, we will move in for the kill. The women and all their resources will be ours. Samarara will be but one of our many conquered lands. Soon, Romulus will spread his legion across the world. And that wasted my build up a name, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Eh, not your fault. There, I'll drag the surgeon. There is a surgeon? I didn't see him. I see the in here. Yeah. 
hover high enough to get out of the range of these guys. Hover blasting technique isn't working. They don't get in the range. Is that poison ivy? Oh, a legionnaire just standing there. Good bottleneck going there. Is that him over there? Yep, there he is. There's an engineer, a surgeon, and oh, yeah, maybe there's, another engineer? There's a whole bunch to the right. Looks like a patrol group to the right. Uh, yep, and they're coming this way, so... if you're going to be able to pull any one out of that group. Give it a shot. The engineer needs to go down first, is what you're saying? Yeah, or the surgeon.
I know one of our party member has to get going pretty soon, so... Yep. I think this is a good spot to say we're done for the week. Uh, just to let you all know, uh, this is the week before 4th of July. Next week, 4th of July weekend. Don't know if I'm going to be able to do the show, uh, you know, or do, the, do an episode. Uh, and then the week after that, I am going away for a week for a much-needed vacation. So... Unfortunately, the City of Heroes might be a little quiet for the next couple of weeks. I apologize for that. Might be able to squeeze one in during the week, seeing how things go. Um, but I don't know. So fair warning, may or may not have something. I do apologize for the gap. Uh, but you know, I need to. I need to get away. Uh, now that COVID is on the, you know, we're over the hump and we can go places. Uh, I'm taking advantage of that. So, uh, yeah. And uh, Clueless is going away uh, next week, too. So, yep. Um, yep. So, everybody, it's been really great seeing you here. Uh, Rasan already took off on us. So, <laughs> you still there? Yeah, I'm still okay. here. Yep. So, uh, but anyhow, everybody, it's been a great time. And sorry we didn't do a lot this week, but there was a lot more talking going on. Uh, but yeah. if you did l listen to all that, that is all the setup and uh, everything for the Imperius Task Force. And Marcus has already alluded, foreshadowed, to the Dark Astoria stuff and what's going on there. So I always like that about this game, how they put these little uh, hints and foreshadows into these various places. So, all right, everybody. I'll see all of you in the next episode, two or three weeks from now. And you all take care, and you have a great Independence Day if you're here in the United States. If you're in Canada, have a great Canada Day. If you're in somewhere in the rest of the world, enjoy your two weeks. So everybody take care, and on three. One, two, three. Bye! Bye! Bye.